what could we do if we want to bring in alarms or do some scripting? And so with this, um, alarms and ignition are really easy. Um, the easiest way to show alarms on your screen would be to just grab this alarm status table. And I could just you know, display it here. And um, I now see all my alarms in my system right on my screen. Um, same idea, you could do it in a uh, pop-up from the bottom where it you know, slides out, shows you your alarms there. Uh, maybe you only want to see uh, some of your alarms. Um, so what you can do is if I right click on this uh, alarm status component, or if I right click on any component, I can click on scripting. And with that, um, you'll see that there's extension functions in here. And these extension functions are customized to the specific component that they're on. And so, for example, on this alarm status table, we see things like filter alarm. And so I could come in here and write any Python I script, any Python script I want to filter those alarms um, to limit them to just what's on the screen or just in that area or just at that site, uh, or maybe just what I have permissions to see. Um, and so this is one place that scripting uh, can become involved, but that's not the only place scripting can get involved. And so maybe uh, for these valves, I want to, when I click on them, have a pop-up that allows me to open or close them. Um, with that, I've already defined a pop-up here that I will show you. And that pop-up is just, you know, gives me the ability to see the status of a valve and open or close it or put it into a manual mode. But with this, if I wanted to open that, you know, how do I actually do that when I click on this? Well, that's done via scripting. And people say, wait, wait, I have to do scripting to do a pop-up? Like, that's intimidating. I don't want to have to write any script. Well, just when we say you're using scripting, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be a programmer. Um, for example, um, with this, if I click on that valve, then I can, rather than immediately starting to write some scripting here, you'll see we have some other tabs that will generate a script for you using a graphical user interface, a GUI. And so with this on mouse click, I want to open up my pop-up and I want that pop-up to uh, specifically know that I care about valve one. So I say, okay. And now if I go into preview mode here, I can click on that, I see the pop-up and I can open it. You see the value changes. Um, and then if I go back over here, you can see, oops, if I go back over here, um, you can see that the value updated. And so it's a little hard to show that in the designer, but we'll show you that in the client in just a minute. Um, but with that, with that scripting, you know, we didn't, you're like, that's not scripting. I didn't see you do any scripting. All you did was click some check boxes. Well, if you go to the script editor now, you can see that it actually turned those clicks that we did with the mouse into an actual script. And so you can see the Python scripting there. If you wanted to do something more fancy, once again, you could modify this script. I could type in system dot and do control space. And you can see we have all kinds of scripting functions that you could pull in and use here. Um, but oftentimes you won't have to get to that level of detail. Uh, Ignition will give you the interface to, to build those scripts automatically. And then maybe you'll just customize them as needed. But just to show that this, this script really is the same as doing those button clicks, I'm just gonna copy the script, say okay. And then I am going to come to my other one, not going to choose all of these, uh, you know, uh, clicks in the UI, but instead I'm going to come over here, just copy and paste this in. And instead of a one, I'm going to pass in a two. And you'll see now if I go into a preview mode, that one works as well, um, all with scripting. So with all this being said, um, you know, there are other scripting functions you could take advantage of as well. And we do have a online tool, our user manual that is found at docs.inductiveautomation.com that shows you a lot of these scripting functionalities right here in the appendix. You click, you click on scripting functions and you'll see it'll have things like, oh, I have a table 
and I want to take the data set of that table and I want to export to Excel. Great, all I have to do is come down here, copy and paste this code snippet, put it into that little scripting editor and maybe change the name of my component if I've renamed it and then it's done, it'll just work. Um, and the same idea is true of uh, all of these. And so we try to give you as much functionality as possible so you don't have to be a, a Python expert. But for those of you who are Python experts, um, certainly you can go and customize all those scripts uh, and build whatever you want. And so Ignition, what we're trying to show you is it's, it's like an onion, it has layers. Um, but with this, you know, if I save all this now, you know, I go in um, and I'll show you the native client launcher. Come in here, I launch a client. With this, you'll see that we have some navigation here to show us uh, these completed screens in phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, and phase five. And so with this, you know, we started with just drag and drop, created a screen like this. Um, but by getting into the properties, we were able to change the colors and to, you know, modify what all of these would look like. And then so that we don't have to do it on each one individually, um, you know, we created this screen, which looks exactly the same, except it has templates behind the scenes uh, rather than just individual properties. And then we took that, we converted it to HMI optimization, uh, switched out some of the components, switched out some of the templates. Um, and once again, you can customize that to any look and feel you want. And then, you know, you can add the ability to have pop-ups to open and close these things, um, add some alarms. You could also add alarms directly on screen to show status, um, all of that. And so that shows you that you can have screens very quickly with drag and drop, or you can start to make them more advanced um, very easily using Ignition's advanced tools. All of this comes to you via the vision module of Ignition.